Hi everyone! In the video working with the manifest file, I mentioned that not all of attribute types are available for PowerApps Components Framework. In this video, I will demonstrate how to work around this limitation. I skip steps where I initialized the PCF project. If you are interested in those steps, you should check my video Getting Started with PCF. There are many attribute types that are not available for developers of PCF controls at the moment. All types of lookups, multi-select option set and whole number duration. I will use type lookup simple during demonstration of unlocking steps. First, let me demonstrate that lookups are not available for the default version of the project. I navigate to the control manifest XML file, change the type of the property to lookup simple and try to build the project. As it was expected, build fails with errors. Here is what I do in order to unblock lookup attribute type to be used in the control. I open the file that is located in node modules, PCF scripts, manifest schema JSON, scroll to the bottom, locate node data type and add there one of types that was not available before. I added lookup simple type and save the file. Now let me repeat the build procedure again and as it was expected, it completes with no errors. One of other lock types is all duration. Standard control for attributes of this type is the drop-down with the list of duration and this list can be customized. As a demonstration, I created the control with the list of options that can be customized. Control on the left is the standard one. Control on the right is custom and contains the list of durations I defined during the configuration of the control. One thing I want to mention before the end of the video, that controls built for unlock attribute types can be considered as unsupported. So please, be careful using those controls in productive instances. That's it for the video. Set the like under the video if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned.